sir so much has been talked about the consolidation of holdings i have read a chapter about the consolidation of holdings but in practical effect what result has come out of it i can not say it is only on paper my friend has been talking about cooperative farming cooperative farming experiment have been done in this country i do not know i want to hear from the honorable minister to tell to what extent that has been successful if that is successful i will be the first person to support it i do not want to go on philosophizing on this matter i am an agriculturist myself i was a large land holder and a major portion of my land has been distributed the tenants have become owners and i hold only the ceiling acreage of land i am trying to do my cultivation on that after the implementation of the act whether it is today or tomorrow or two years hence where will be the large holders my point is that everything that has to be done for the consolidation of holdings and for providing sufficient impetus not only by way of providing inputs but also by way of organizing proper research extension and development services it has not been done in the case of some of the commercial crops you carry to them the fruits of research and development then while distributing the surplus land another difficulty comes in now proprietors have been laid down as to how the surplus land is to be distributed if there is a 3 acre uneconomic holding while distributing surplus land you are not going to give another 1 acre to him to make it 4 acres and more economic you are going to provide it to a person who has no land at all you give him half an acre of land the 3 acre main continues to be uneconomic and you create another more uneconomic holding by giving half an acre or 1 acre if you decide on 10th standard acres then you stick to it according to me a land holder must be in a position to go up to 10 standard acres it is only then that he can provide a decent living for himself educate his children and make them decent citizens comparable to the people in the urban areas you calculate their annual income para sir i want to say something about the dairy farming i fail to understand what the policy of the government is with regard to dairy farming because in many of these ceiling laws you have not provided anything for them if a person has to do dairy farming he is unable to get anything more than your 10 acres he has to be within the ceiling and at the same time he has to do dairy farming what is the dairy farming that he can do he can have two cows or one cow is that dairy farming is its proper planning 